the challenges here were really about special effects and how we controlled traffic. This is an aftermath scene, so the people traveling on the freeway underneath could potentially have accidents just looking at what they think is an accident. It's so realistic. It's impossible to look at it and not feel the anxiety you would feel when you look at a real accident. To be honest, when I saw how big the explosion was yesterday, because it's always bigger than they say it's going to be, and if I was driving on the freeway and that happened, I, I might have crashed. Blowing up the, this tanker is a big deal for us. It goes from the script to the drawings to the meetings to on this street with this. Then this is where we did the near miss with the tanker truck. And then you get to see the real deal. The other day, we slid the tanker into position with the stunt guys. Then we uh, loaded it with explosives and things. We also were asked to uh, have the, the back of it jump about two, two and a half feet. And so we put some pneumatics on the back tires. It had 27,000 pounds of thrust, actually. And uh, it took off, went about two and a half feet. It was great. It catapults off the ground. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger and send some tires and debris flying in the air. Then we have another bit that's a CG car that's teetering on the edge, a computer-generated car that isn't really there. And then everything that you'll see off the overpass, we're gonna clean out and do in CG after the fact. Then we also filmed a lot of uh, extras that will composite into the CG. So for miles and miles, there'll be stuff on those other bridges. Things are on fire and it's just general mayhem.